TikTok and Gen Z are still faking disorders. Now, let me ask you, would you rather pretend that you have disassociative identity disorder? Or maybe you want to pretend that you have ADHD? Or maybe even you want to pretend that you're disabled? Because I'm disabled. By the way, your answer to any of those questions should be none. We don't fake disorders around here. And also, just to remind you, there is so many more people that have been faking disorders besides these three. These videos are some of the most deplorable videos I've probably ever reacted to. All I know is that the last one I checked out in this video is just... <laughs> wow. Anyways, yeah, let's begin. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it appears that six-year-olds can drive now. In case you're wondering what kind of disorder this is, this is DID. To give a very cookie-cutter description, it basically just means you have multiple personalities. And believe me, that is very, very cookie-cutter. My main issue with these videos in general is why are you trying to use a disorder to get clout on the internet? Especially TikTok of all places. And the real cherry on top of all these TikTok videos is that they're fake as hell. I don't know why some Somebody needs TikTok to validate their disorder on the internet. A fake disorder at that on the fucking internet. It doesn't make any sense. But I guess it does make sense when your personality is a fucking six-year-old driving on the highway. I'm not even making fun of these people. I'm just thinking, what the fuck are you doing? So yeah, guys, six-year-olds can drive now. Isn't that really... That's so cool. One of the most common trends regarding faking your disorders is trying to hide the fact that you even have the disorder. But the problem is that you're trying to hide your disorder, but you go out and you promote your disorder on TikTok for clout? That makes absolutely no sense. I'm so good at masking. No one would ever realize I was autistic if I didn't say anything. You know, lady, I'm sure it is very good to hide your ADHD and autism when you don't have the fucking disorder. This has got to be the most condescending stuff on TikTok I've ever seen. Not only are you trying to display your superiority because you can quote unquote hide your disorder better than anybody else, but because you don't even have the disorder, you're doing this. How is this woman and not recognizing that that is just a rotten, shitty move to do. Okay, I'm not gonna act like I'm a fucking doctor and whip out my master's degree in hemorrhoids, but what the hell is yawning when a conversation isn't stimulating hiding your ADHD and autism? Well, guys, if you have yawned or fidgeted during a conversation, I'm afraid you have autism and ADHD. This, ladies and gentlemen, is what you call a fraud. Yeah, so faking your ADHD, that's probably something you could trick a few people doing, but you know it could be a real challenge to fake being disabled. It's such a stupid idea. The second that somebody sees you out in public Boom, you're done. If you're walking, boom, your career's over. This next TikTok is honestly just, it's baffling. Do, 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 do. Moderators don't mute anyone. I just want to see people. Yay. Okay, I'm done being crazy. Gay rat, love it. Hey. My arm just was like, I cannot push right now. My brain. I do need help. Because I'm disabled. Did Jesus make the lame man walk again? Why do you need a wheelchair? Listen, audience, why does this lady even need a wheelchair when she's doing Fortnite dances out the ass? I get it. If you're trying to get empathy from people saying that you're disabled and all this other stuff, at least make it convincible. Don't do a full-on Fortnite boogie down and then sit in your wheelchair and then say you're disabled. That's like me stubbing my toe and saying that I'm paralyzed. <laughs> These spokes are spooky. Anyway, <gasps> nothing happened. Nothing. Nothing happened? Nothing happened to what? You getting the disability? That, I believe. If I had to dig into my textbooks of science, ladies and gentlemen, you probably don't have the disabilities because, yeah, nothing happened. All I can really say right now is just, wow. The last video was so obvious. Literally anybody with half a brain cell can deduct that. And sure, she's stupid, but at least she's not like this next person. Hello, 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 hello. Ew, 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 ew. 
Tell me you're faking a disorder without telling me you're faking a disorder. I have seen this woman get exposed and exposed over and over again. If there is a queen of faking disorders, it has got to be this woman here. Because I'm sure that there's people that are out there that actually do have real disorders that are trying to spread awareness. It really makes it harder for the people that actually do have the disorders to spread awareness when people like this exist. It's gotten to a point where I can't even make fun of this anymore. She's just straight up mocking the disability and it's pissing me off. All I can say is, baby girl, I hope those TikTok tits of clout was worth it. Because now your online PR is basically in the f***ing grave. Sorry. I'm sure you're not smiling anymore now, sis. I guarantee you when she left the internet, she was making this exact face. She got exactly what she wanted. I'm gonna be honest. I don't think there's anybody else worse than her. I think there's a fine line between just faking a disorder and literally just straight up mocking people. And that's quite literally what she did and it's scummy. But anyways, this next guy is just, he's just cringe about it. <laughs> Jesus damn stripper says this place triggers the hell out of me. Hashtag male witch. Your whole fucking page triggers the shit out of me. Why you look like homeless Harry Potter dipped his hair in Smurf excrement? You're probably twitching like that because you got a yeast infection from the mattress. I guarantee you them shits are littered with parasites. So you could choose anything to do with your life. You choose this. I really hope that last guy peaked in high school because trust me, it's, on it's only downhill from here. Anyways, this next person decides to take advantage of our attention spans by making us watch a 15 some odd second video of her basically switching personalities. Just give her some time, guys. She's wanting to get that sweet TikTok watch time. We have to watch to the end to promote her shitty TikTok page. Hopefully, she'll go f***ing Transformer in the next five seconds. Guys, I think she's a whole new human being. You simply can't make this shit up. There is actually people that would go to this extent to get some clout on TikTok.com. And to be honest, I don't even know why they would even want TikTok clout of all things. Because 100,000 followers on TikTok is the equivalent to like 1,000 followers on YouTube. Long story short, you really threw your life away over something so short term. I'll be honest, I have no idea why she was trying to get the TikTok algorithm to promote her page. Maybe she was trying to speedrun getting canceled off the internet. I have no idea. I'll tell you one thing though. It's stupid. This next person tries faking Tourette's, but it's really confusing because it just sounds like they're on some I'm 14 and this is deep type beat. I'm at a loss for words. I really am. You know what this screams to me, ladies and gentlemen? This screams I'm an attention seeker and I hope you validate my feelings. The only nice thing I have to say about this person is that I kind of like your style. I kind of like the emo style. I like it. But other than that, that's pretty much all the nice things I have to say about you. Alternate text, I tried to make soup and I didn't get hurt. Oh, thank goodness you didn't get hurt. Please be understanding, I cannot control my ticks. I mean, you were controlling them pretty well in that intro, buddy. Which really sucks too, because you only got 140 likes on your TikTok. Maybe if you pretend to flop around like a f***ing fish, you might actually get a few more likes. Don't do that, actually. I'm just gonna make another video on you. Now, I know I said earlier that this person was the worst person in this video, but at this point, I take back everything I said. This next person is just a blatant Scumbag. People say my ticks are fake when these kinds of people exist.
You see what I mean, guys? We can't even go on social media without having to figure out if somebody's faking their disability or not. Before I even made this video, I had to verify whether these people were actually faking their disability. That's how you know it's pretty f***ing sad that the internet is actually this depressing. Why can't we just be honest with each other? Is that a big f***ing issue? But anyways, y'all, I've seen enough scumbags today. Please click the video on screen. I promise you'll love it. But anyways, yeah, subscribe.